have to ask you about all of the headlines that are going on, like with Jason Caldbeck and David McClure stepping down, all of these accounts of sexual harassment at, at the VC firms. What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, nobody is ever just one thing. But if you did something bad, then you have to suffer the consequences. You could be a perfectly awesome person, and then you shoplift once, and you get caught, and you have to suffer the consequences. Dave McClure has funded my company twice. He did something really terrible, and he has to face the consequences. I'm glad there are consequences now for sexual harassment and sexual assault. What advice would you give to venture capitalist firms now who are like, well, I want to support women, but I'm scared. I don't know where the line is. Just fund more women. Fund more women. So there are so many studies out there that say that male VCs fund other men for their vision. And male VCs fund women for their business acumen, like their numbers, the hard stuff. They have no vision when it comes to females. They're like, show me how much money you made and how you plan to be profitable. They ask different questions to women than they would men. Is that anything you've experienced? Absolutely. I definitely, I definitely get really weird questions sometimes. And sometimes the arguments can get philosophical and it's really bad to get into a philosophical argument with a VC. You will never win, but you can always win on numbers. Ultimately, if you're asking a VC to fund your company, it does become a little bit more faith-based and philosophical because you're thinking like, does this work? Is this the vision for the future? VCs don't have that kind of format with women because they don't trust women. <laughs>